you got your cut pork belly, and what have you already done to this? So, we do this step three days, three consecutive days in a row. We have our bacon cure, which is juniper, bay leaf, brown sugar, salt, and sodium nitrite. And then we salt them. The salt just sucks all the water out of the pork belly, you know? Okay. So basically drying it. So we do this step three times a day. We want to get the ones on the bottom, on the top, so they're not sit only ones sitting in that liquid. So everybody gets to have a little bit of that. But all we do is we just resalt it. And then on the fourth day, we'll take this, we'll rinse it off really well, we'll soak it in water for 24 hours. So it sucks the salt back out, it leaves the flavor, you mm -hmm. know, of the juniper, of the bay leaf, of the brown sugar. Right. And leaves some of the salt, you know, but. But you want to make sure you rinse it, get all the seasonings off of yep, it, and then yep. get it in the water. And then soak it in water overnight. And then the next day, we have these little bacon hooks, mm -hmm. and then we hang it in the refrigerator overnight. Now, if you don't have a bacon hook, anything you don't need I mean you can just set it on a sheet on you know on a rack to let it dry really well and it gets kind of sticky if you put this in straight out of the water and didn't dry it you know it's just gonna be wet and all the water's gonna be dripping off the smoke sticks to the water the water drips off the bacon doesn't get any smoke mm. but if it's nice and tacky the smoke sticks to it we smoke it for about five hours um, we skin it we take the skin off. Is that after you smoke it? Yep. And then we put a bunch of uh, fresh ground black pepper. We pepper all of our bacon. And then we freeze it. And then we split it on our slicer. And we probably sell about 50 to 60 pounds of bacon here a week. Wow. 